the winners in the future are gonna be the ones that can consistently capture our attention and match that mobile mindset with content. But the other thing that we need to realize, and obviously is, is pretty evident to everyone here at a conference called Declared, is that we need data in order to do it as well. Well, if you've read the headlines over the past few months, I'm sorry to say I can't get through another presentation without the buzzword of the day, GDPR, right? This May 25th deadline is looming over us, right? So much content, if you go on LinkedIn, guaranteed someone from your network is posting about how to become compliant with GDPR, or how to solve this issue, right? What I want to mention here and have us really think about, though, is how we got to this point. GDPR, for all of its rules and regulations, is really more about how you collect data as opposed to who you're collecting data on and what you're collecting. As marketers, we've just collected everything possible because we have the ability to. And this is really the first time that consumers and regulators are pushing back on that notion. So one thing I'd love for us all to consider is, is everything we're collecting, renting, or buying always 100% necessary? And how can we go on a bit of a data diet and be more efficient with what data we're using? With this shift, we're just at the beginning. The paradigm shift for data is pointing towards brands and publishers needing explicit consent and having that relationship with brands directly. It doesn't mean third-party data will become illegal in the future and we'll never be able to leverage different inferred or second-party sources, but it certainly is pointing to a different future than the past we've come from and the need to prepare with a different set of tactics and strategies. So, where do we turn? What are, what are our options? No set of data is perfect. There's no silver bullet out there. We have to continue to use a combination of all of these different sources. This is an incredible opportunity, I think, for forward-thinking brands and publishers to lean into this regulation, to lean into the fact that regardless of if there's regulation here in the US or if there will be regulation, clearly directionally what consumers are telling us is we haven't earned their trust enough. And so one of the things to consider is how can we use every interaction to actually continue to build up that trust and transparency as we collect data as opposed to simply collecting data anymore? I don't think it surprises anyone in this room, but when analysts take a look at all of the data companies are sitting on, over 90% of what we have has some type of shortcoming, right? It falls into one of the, these four buckets. Outdated, inaccurate, irrelevant, or potentially illegal, depending on geographically or how you collected it. What I hope you take away from this conversation today is that we need to be thinking about what is our declared data strategy? At a minimum, what is our explicit consent strategy in collecting data to either build a relationship or help us understand the why behind a lot of the actions that people are taking with our brand? And I hope today has been another great example as well of the vast variety of data that is important to each company. And as I mentioned, savvy CMOs and CEOs are starting to think about this at scale. What if we just started to collect a huge set of data around our preferences and motivations of our audiences? What would that enable us to do? And so analysts are predicting that we're about to go through one of the biggest shifts ever from data renters to data owners. This concept that $10 billion that was spent on renting data in 2017 will shift faster than the shift from traditional to digital to companies investing in collecting and owning their own data. And that means understanding their transactional data better. That means continuing to invest in first-party analytic solutions to understand behavioral data. And it also means, for a lot of companies, starting their declared data journey. So with that, thank you again for all your time and attention, and I hope you have a great rest of the day.